Okay, well, we're going to trade with the uh, merchants from Sedectwe here, the keepers. We're not even going to bother with the elves. I scouted through their stuff, and they didn't bring anything we could use. The keepers brought us a <laughs> barrel of swan blood and bat blood. That's good enough. Um, we're going to trade for that. All, they had a couple bars up there and some wood, of course. The important thing is that we're getting our new weapons for our military. We're getting a bronze maul, um, a sterling silver longbow for the hospital guards. Uh, I think two bronze two-handed swords. There's one there. Uh, a couple large kite shields. Um, we don't need a large hauberk. Hauberk or whatever it was. I think it's like a tunic. And what do we have? 780 left? Is there any other weapons we can buy here? I don't think so. So we'll let them make that much profit then. Because I don't really want to trade for any more seeds. Could buy these splints. And we're picking up some food. Large black bronze greaves. Nope. Will you take that? I wish I could take so much, but it's my animals. Oh, so we have to buy more. We have to buy something that weighs more. How about a bronze anvil and another bronze anvil? Oh, wonderful. Thank you for your business. So that's all we got out of the traders this time. I did shut down the waterfall, unfortunately, because this pump was starting to flood this too much. So I want to let this evaporate. And I think what I'm going to do is on this level... I think this trick still works on this level, actually. I'm going to mine out a huge section and just leave one tile along the wall since you can't mine that out anyways. And then I'm going to smooth it down and fortify it so that it has a larger surface area to drain from. And, and then I think I'm going to hook up an automatic pump system so that it's, if the waterfall is on, the pumps are automatically pumping. I think I'll need a water wheel for that. I'll need axles. Um, I'll need some gears or whatever they are. Let's see. What do we have in the menu here? We have water wheel, gear assembly, and axles. So I'll have to figure out how those work and then hook that up. So it is 8th limestone, early autumn. The dwarves are still expanding the village and um, carrying out, I guess... All these worthless stones are almost gone. All that's left just about now is the ore. And their beautiful mined out clustered veins. Especially this blue stuff. I think that's cobaltite. Yep, the merchants can leave. I'm fine with that. Got a whole bunch of these bedrooms mined out. And I think that as soon as I get about 15 idlers up here, as soon as they catch up on their jobs... I'm going to send them to go smooth all this stuff down. And they'll be working on that. We may or may not try to reach the next cavern before the end of this year. Right now, there's not really any rush. Just let the dwarves kind of live in peace for a bit, dealing with the wildlife. Their military skills are just, uh, meh. Catfish, surface commander. He is proficient swords dwarf, competent mace dwarf, proficient shield user, competent armor user. So he's moving up. We'll let them get back to training. Get back to carrying up this chopped up forest back to our, our stockpiles for the elves can see what happened. Well, I have um, decided where we're going to start digging the channel down towards the next cavern. It's going to be right here in the middle of the village that we've built in this little cavern lair. I think that eventually um, we'll probably have a little wall around it and then just ramps leading up and out maybe from one or two directions. Kind of like the center of town, but instead of having a well there or a park for people to gather at, there's just another, another dwarfish hole down into the ground. So we'll start digging that this year. It is 19th limestone early autumn. Hasn't been too long since the last update. The merchants are getting ready to leave. Um, the blood is still spattering. Got people training on swords over here. Look, Z-Sword is training with a sword. He is a Nova Swords Dwarf. Flame of Dark is training with a sword. He's a Dabbling Swords Dwarf. Blind Chaos, a Dabbling Swords Dwarf. We've also got our workshops set up to make um, full suits of copper plate mail armor right now because we have a decent number of bars. Let's see. Silver bars, one. 39 copper bars. 
plenty of charcoal. Got our two wood furnaces making charcoal full time, and our charcoal wood stockpiles are constantly being refreshed from the surface wood. We burn the mushrooms down here pretty quick. Chop them all down as soon as they grow. I don't think there's anything going on up here. I wish I could do something with all these bodies. I want to craft them into totems or armor or something. I've got them claimed, but apparently there's nothing you can do with a, a partially decayed, decayed skeletal turkey or a partially decayed gargoyle skeleton. Look at all that beautiful lumber. Well, we'll let them get back to digging this hole. Digging down. And we'll figure out which direction we're going to start spiraling in with it. Well, looks like we hit our next cavern lever level. You have discovered an expansive cavern deep underground. And we have discovered a magma pool and a great magma sea already. Oh, that's at level 101. We've got so many levels to go. We can, I'm sure we can find a way through this. It's probably got huge sections of stone that we can dig through. Um, so let's see. I was digging the, the downward stairwell here. They had dug this out. They had started to skip certain parts and just hang close to the edges. And that's when we hit it here. Let's zoom out and get a look at what we've uncovered. Um, further still. There we go. So, this is where we've penetrated the layer. We'll have to bring our stairwell maybe this way. Continue to go down. It does have some ground there. So it's got ground all the way to here. I guess I can cancel um, these, this channel out. Wow. It's a magma pipe. And it goes down, down, down and connects all the way down to the magma sea probably. Right there at level 99 is where it ends. It's nice, open. Let's see what, what animals we have on our map here, on our animal listing now. On our list of things that are going to kill us. Tame, 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 wild animals. So far, just uh, that magma man that we saw. Magma moving in the shape of a man. It has a cracked black crust and a bunch of pigeons. Looks like marble walls there, orthoclays and stuff, micro line. Okay, well, let's see how best to handle this. I want them to continue digging all of this out. They don't need to worry about these ramps right here, really. So that one, that one. I don't think I need to worry about mining this out then. I'm going to let them leave that, that layer. We'll see what they do to it. So it is 11th timber, late autumn. We finally struck the, the next cavern layer, level 2. And we have magma. We can set up our forges down there and start pumping out mass amounts of armor and weapons for our military. Our little forges back here haven't been doing too much. They probably only pumped out two sets, maybe three sets of copper. Copper plate mail, and no weapons yet. People are still training. Let's see how they're doing. We have Blind Chaos, Adequate Swords Dwarf, Dowd Pride, Legendary Miner, and just now picked up a sword. Apex Origin, Dabbling Swords Dwarf, Dabbling Hammer Dwarf, and Sergi, a great Swords Dwarf. Because no one gets hurt. So our, our doctor, all he does is study books, write books, study doctoring, and train with a sword. Yep. I imagine he's probably going to die in battle. Somebody else will have to replace him as a doctor. Um, well, I'm going to let the dwarves continue digging this out. I'm going to check out where we'll build our next stairwell at. And an orc caravan has arrived from Bling Yao Shua. Somewhere up here on the top. A flock of pigeons are attacking everything. And there comes Tangoy, praise dweller. New orc icons. Oh, go ahead and go meet with our mayor, Blind Chaos. Mansaker, you had the highest animal training, so you became our dungeon master. And I'm still trying to get their rooms set up. 
Looks like their liaison came from the south, but they came from the north. They converged right on time. Well, another artifact is here in our fort now, thanks to the heroic efforts of Rogue Jack the First. The prince has created Tomembebmal, Ustanasad, a poplar cup. Let's take a closer look at that. Grouped Glen, the Blameless Bone. Valued at 39,600 dwarfs bucks. And all craft dwarf ship is of the highest quality. It is studded with copper. This object menaces with spikes of poplar, aspen, red zircon, and wolf leather. On the item is an image of two moving gears in Morion. So maybe two moving gears is the logo of our empire? I still haven't got that figured out. I didn't trade with the merchants this season. The mountain home arrived and those orcs arrived. And they just left on their way. We don't have anything for them anyways. Uh, let's see, the drainage duct down here has been smoothed out and fortified so water should drain through the vents down there whenever we start pumping it over. I'm also building a wall here. Just so it doesn't flood all this um, right away as soon as we start pumping, it'll have to build up in here first. Maybe I'll leave a little overflow over here. Hopefully we we'll never fill this up though. It should drain out fast enough once we um, start pumping and filling it up, I hope. Let's see, how is our downward ramps going? Looks like they still got pieces there. They're stuck right here. I'm not exactly sure where they're digging, but they're digging. They're busy somewhere else. Nothing going on on the surface. Just dead bodies everywhere. Dead bodies and ice. Dead trees. What's our monsters list say? Still just that magma man down there. Well, it is 21st Moonstone early winter. I'm just going to let them keep digging down to the caverns and we'll probably come back whenever we break the wall and start uh, start building down there. We'll have to throw up quick fortifications, a quick um, couple of wall segments, and maybe even draft another small military squad to go down there. We've had a decent amount of idlers and I could always shut these machines off and stop grinding generic stone and instantly have another eight, eight people just standing around doing nothing. <laughs> 